Hey guys, this is Meliotis. Probably already knew that. Can't scratch on the glass, so I'm gonna have them out here. Hey everybody, Double A here, and I'm going to be going. But oh fuck. Hey everybody, Double A here, and I'm gonna be going over the top five things you need to keep a girl. Now, some of you might listen to this list and be like, oh, well, not all girls are gonna respond the same way. Trust me, a lot of girls are gonna respond the same way. And I didn't realize this until after my first relationship. Uh, comment down below what you think should have been on this list and comment what I should do a top five on next. I would do a top five on anything. Anything. Um, well, except like top five dicks because that's gay. But you know what I'm saying. And uh, let's get into the video. At number five, we have confidence. It's the lowest on the list for, for good reason because you can ask a person with no confidence if a girl wants a guy who's confident and he's going to say yes there shouldn't be no debate about this confidence is key it's so fucking obvious no one should have to tell you at all like let's be real number four emotional control women like to say that they like men who are in tune with their feelings and you know in their feelings but come on but in reality bitches don't want a drake ass nigga i mean they want a Drake ass nigga, like a nigga with money, but they don't want a Drake ass nigga. You know, they wanna, they don't wanna deal with their man being in the feelings all the time. Now, it is understandable if you are to lose a friend, a loved one. It's understandable, and they'll probably let it slide that day. But the rough reality is that a lot of girls aren't gonna stay for long if you keep losing your emotions like that. Like, let's say you're driving, and your girl's in the car, and uh. You know the engine just blows or some shit like that and you're like and you if she sees you in the in the driver's seat like oh my god i can't she might not leave right then because well you're her ride but you know it's like you're a guy you tripping over a a, a, butt, a blown engine which is a pretty big deal but she wasn't seeing if you can control yourself and be like okay this is what I gotta do. I just gotta, I'm gonna have to just call a tow. I'm gonna have to do this and do that to get it done. She just wants to know that you can control your emotions to be like, at the end of the day, I gotta get it done. Number three, having options or pretending to have options. Cause, and of course having options mean you gotta have bitches. But let's be honest, not all guys got a lot of bitches like that, if any. Let's say she says like, oh, if you don't do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break up with you and I'm leaving you forever. First off, like number four, like number four, control your emotions. And then look her dead in the eyes as you pull out your phone and say, okay, bye. Like, cause if she sees that you care that she leaves, she knows that you have no bitches. She got with you because she thought you did, but you don't. And she's gonna realize that if you start crying like a bitch in front of her or trying to beg her to stay and all that shit. No, just pretend you got, if you even got, if you don't have objects, pretend you got objects, pull out your phone and proceed to text somebody. And then when she asks you who you calling, who you texting, tell her, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You said, if you really wanna go, go ahead, leave. Really, if she sees that you have options, she don't want them options to win. She want to be your only option. If only I knew this before, right? Good thing I'm telling you now. Number two, be in some type of shape. You know, you, you ain't gotta be a fucking triathlete or a bodybuilder, but you, you gotta be in some type of shape. You know, yeah, there might be a few that might like a fat dude or might like a dad bod or whatever, but a, a, majority, of, a majority of them would rather you not have that and that's just how it is just get into just get in shape bro you know have some type of workout regimen even if you don't go to the gym at least have a workout regimen you do at home some something she also want to know if you can protect her you know you know if somebody if some dude was to go and try to get with you or get with y'all nigga motherfuckers and, and she like oh oh babe help me and you're like, don't worry, don't worry, Hannah, I got this. And you get your ass mopped. <laughs> I don't know how long that relationship's gonna last. <laughs> she might leave you for the nigga who knocked your ass up. 
and it's and that's gonna be rough. You gonna be really in your feelings after that shit. Like me personally, I couldn't take such disrespect. But you know, that's just me. I'd say I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, am I in my best? No, but I am in pretty good shape. But you know, the whole point is just be in shape. Just getting some type of shape. And I don't mean the bare minimum. I wanted to go ahead and uh, throw in a couple honorable mentions. Uh, money. Now, I put this as an honorable mention only because if you're like 19, 20, if you're like the age is like 18, like 20, I'll say 25 maybe? As a guy, you're not gonna have money like that a majority of the time. I mean, yeah, I got my own apartment at 22, but I ain't got like money for real. <laughs> I do, but I. You know, that's besides the point. Status is another honorable mention. Uh, pretty much popularity. You know, you know, if you're known, you know, you got your shit out there. She gonna, she gonna wanna, she gonna wanna get with that. You know, that blue check mark only fifteen dollars a month. I'm kidding, dude. Do not, dude, don't pay for that shit. You pay for that shit, I will punch you through this fucking camera. Competence. Pretty much, that's pretty much just like general knowledge of things. Like, uh, oh, babe, you know how to use a, a, a power saw? Yeah, ain't that hard. Oh, like, that type of shit blows their fucking mind. You know how to do some shit that to them seems so complicated, but to you it's like, bro, all I did was just flick a switch on it. You know, that's it. You make it look easy. See what I'm saying? Before we get into number one, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy these top five videos. This is the second one, third one. I don't remember which one. Number one, a goal, at least. I say a goal at least because you can have multiple goals or you can have one goal. Point is, have a goal. If you don't have a goal in life, no bitch is gonna wanna be in your life. <laughs> no, no, no woman wants to deal with a guy who has nothing going on ever. Like, it's like, hey, what do you do? Uh, well, you know, I just be chilling mostly. Oh, really? Hmm. Have a goal, man. Like, honestly, and, you know, guys don't even like other guys that don't have shit going on. It's like, bro, what the fuck you be doing for real, bro? You just be at the house smoking? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Bro, get up and do some shit, nigga. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got your homies telling you you broke as fuck, because... It's true. Come on, bro. Stop it. Eliotis, if you scratch on this glass again, I'm gonna throw you down the river. Standards. Like, if she does some shit that you don't like, tell her you don't like her doing it. Um, if she wants to keep on doing it, go back to number three. And just leave it alone. Don't ever say anything about it again. But don't ever give her a girlfriend title. Because if she can't, like, like for example, if, if you was to be like, Hey babe, um, I don't like when you post these type of pictures on Instagram or like, hey babe, I don't really like you doing uh, uh, OnlyFans or hey, I don't like you, I don't like it when you leave the crust on my sandwich, I'd rather the crust be cut off. You know, if she can't do these simple things, why should I take you seriously at all? It's like, like, and that's real shit. Like, you know, like you can't just do that. You know, it's crazy because when men have standards, it's, it's looked upon as like women, sh woman shaming and all this other bullshit. And, but, but when women have standards, it's fine. Um, you know, six foot three, got yachts and all that bullshit. Real fit and shape. Nobody bats an eye, but as soon as I wanna, as soon as I say, I don't want a bitch who's just fat as fuck. Now I'm a misogynist. Like, get the fuck out of here, bruh. And that's the end of this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Say bye, Meliodas.